Hello and welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries Rider's Eye View. So this is what you'll see when you're riding down the road. Uh, since the uh, custom bike show, we all got back safe and sound and we haven't stood still. Although I have to say the jobs that remain are slightly more mundane than the rest of the bike. I've really enjoyed doing all of the big stuff and the engine and the gearbox and, and that. But the things that are left aren't quite as interesting but need to be done. So you'll notice on my left hand here, I have a clutch lever which I've had before but I also have a clutch cable so the clutch cable to be fitted needed to be purchased and then cut to length the outer and the solders you know the, the end soldered onto the cable but I've taken the cable round here underneath the front yoke clipped it onto the uh, top of the coil there so that's a good support for the cable it comes down in the center of the tube and then if I just drop the bike on the stand and hop off for a moment it comes out of the back of that tube underneath there. Can you see that? Clutch cable comes out here and then it's just clipped onto, oh no, that's, a, sorry. Clutch cable comes, can't even see myself. Clutch cable comes out here and then it's clipped onto the mudguard stage just there. So there's a bit of a support for it there. And then it comes round the side and onto the, um, clutch reliefs mechanism on that side so when I pull the clutch cable you can see that there operating see it from the top and if you look very closely on that side you can just see the maybe you can't just see the clutch popping in and out as I squeeze the cable it's nice and light it's not a particularly um onerous task to operate the clutch which is great unlike the throttle because Dell Autos have quite a long throttle cable travel and they have notoriously stiff springs so the internal throttle cable is a little bit harder to uh, twist but it's not too bad and it does open that wide open but I've shown you that before so remaining jobs are getting less and less and less fewer and fewer our next job is going to be to bleed the front brake now the front brake um master cylinder when you're sitting on the bike is at a bit of an angle but when the bike's on the stand you can see there it's actually quite level so when it comes to bleeding the front brakes it shouldn't be too bad but I don't have any fresh brake fluid and if you're going to breathe the flakes breathe the brakes breathe the brakes you might as well use fresh fluid so I'll do that job tomorrow and while we're at it we'll also put the fluid into there and we'll bleed the rear brake at the same time so we'll have a set of working brakes which would have been so good last weekend because there was a bit of a slope at the Sammy Miller Museum and I was pushing the bike to get back to the van and I could have ridden down the slope with my feet up and pretended I was riding the bike but with no brakes that would have been a bit um, a bit dicey especially as there's lots of really expensive customs about and the last thing I'd want to do is to crash into somebody's really nice Harley because that would spoil their day and it would certainly spoil mine and no doubt the bank account too uh, right so that's where we are at once I've bled the brakes remaining remaining jobs are simply fuel pipe fuel pump clean out the fuel tank with the uh, fur, fur tan um, tank sealer and then all the electrics and that will be it I and mean, the electrics is quite a sizable job because we need to make a battery box and wire it all up and figure out the 12 and 24 volts and put uh, indicators on and that type of thing uh, but the list is getting ever smaller and smaller and smaller so I will sort the brakes next again not particularly interesting job but it needs to be done and then when we get to the electrics that will be a bit more of a challenge so I'll keep you updated on that that is it for this evening as usual thank you for watching more updates will follow.